my son Jason called me this uh last this weekend and uh told me I had the frets wrong on the uh fretboard. And uh there's about 16 I think he said frets. Well, I've got the guitar that I based this guitar on and what I got to do is uh these are the frets, those little white lines. And that's called a fret board. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, fret board. So I'm going to adjust that first, and uh, then we'll get started from the uh, from that on to the uh, clay itself. That's the first thing I'm going to do today. Time to play with some clay. Well, the first thing I want to do is cover the frets I got on there now with clay. Now you can see why I painted the uh super sculpty to uh, look like the clay I use. My son Jason, he's a uh, contractor in uh, the Salt Lake Valley area of Utah and uh, he plays guitar as a hobby All right, I'm gonna get back on the shirt now. And uh, have part of the shirt overlapping the uh, top of the pants. I stuck his thumb on there, but uh, I'm not going to do the fingers until I put the guitar back on. I'm not going to put the guitar back on until I get the shirt sleeve somewhat sculpted.
I know this seems tedious, what I'm doing here, but that's because it is. <laughs> it uh, just takes a lot of patience and uh, takes a lot of thought to uh, create the wrinkles in the shirt. You, you uh, have to think what your shirt is doing, what the sleeve is doing, what the arm is doing. And then you have to transfer that into uh, clay. You're basically doing what a sculptor does. And that's to create something to make it look like something it ain't. All right, I've got the uh, thumb does make a difference when you put it on there. And uh, of course I got some sculpting to do on that as well. I think I'm gonna tilt his head just a little bit. Yeah. Just put this back on here. Yeah. See, that all works out really nice. I'm going to permanently attach the hat now to the uh, body of the cowboy. All right, everybody, I'll uh, pick this up, like I said, tomorrow. And we'll see how far we can get. I can't wait to uh, rejoin him with a log in the background there. And then start on, on the uh, young lady. That's going to probably be next week. This week's going to be finishing him up. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time for Adventures in Sculpting. <laughs> Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.